Hi everyone, this is Paul Sykes doing a review of the 135th scale Chieftain Mark 11 from Tacon for DN models. The front of the box shows it in the Batas colours, which is the green and the sand. And I've got on the side, as you can see, there are the colours for the Batas. And there's the more regularly used colour of the black and green. Turn it round, and then we get a layout of the sprues. And there are the other two chieftains that are on sale, the Mark 10 and the Mark 5 slash P. And here's what you get in the box. There's a colour chart, which we'll go over later. Some photo etch. The decals. And the instructions we'll go over them later. The first sprue. That's part of the engine deck. And here we get part of the turret, part of the basket. These are all the bins. They were the 120mm smooth bar rifle in two halves. A lot of people complained about this saying that in a lot of models that should do them in full now instead of two halves with the slide mode technology that these companies have. But for some reason, a lot of them still do them in the two halves, especially when they're thermal wrapped as well. Because it can be very hard to get rid of the mould line. Another sprue. I think this is mainly the turret as well. Part of the commander's cupola. There's his hatch. Detail looks very nice. The commander's machine gun. Smoke discharges. Another sprue. I think most of this now is on the hull. Final drive housings. <clears throat> now we get into the two turret parts, the lower and upper. Obviously not much detail on the lower part. Some nice fine detail on this one. Now we come onto the sprue with all the wheels, and you get two of these. A lot of companies now are doing them wheels in two or three parts, some more, even more. The 
the suspension. Very much like the Centurion type. And the last few things in the box. The track, which is in two pieces. Just a bag full of these. I've gone there. And then these are the track pads. Here we get the clear plastic. And in this we get a small part. It's a correction part. It does uh, correction. Please use this part B18 in doing well, instead of the old one. And another one. It's telling you to remove this part. And here we have the two whole halves. I'm not sure why they didn't have the, the engine deck separate. It would have made a lot more sense. Because I think I could armor do an engine for this. One more part, which is the rubber manlet cover. I'm not sure about this being in rubber, but a lot of the companies seem to be doing it now. One of the problems I found is that the paint tends to crack if you slightly move this. And here we are with the painting guide. I like this. That's nice. Get something different. A plain green one. And what I like about this is that they give you different camouflage patterns for the badness one. They're not all the same. There we have a black and green one and another badness with different camouflage. Really good idea. And there we are with the decals and some flat watch. Now onto the instructions. Gives some detail and history on the chieftain and nice line drawing. On the first page we get some information on things to do and not to do. And then we get another list of all the parts. First page is on the suspension. Then adding the suspension to the lower hull and fitting the top part of the hull. The rear of the hull, adding all the mufflers tracks and the gun holder then we're onto the lights As you'll see, you can have the driver's hatch open or closed. And the fitting of the side skirts and a side storage box. Some more boxes. And these are photo etch, some mesh that go over the engine.
now onto the turret. Smoke discharges added there to the side. The cupola. Now onto the main gun. Two parts. And the end piece is in two parts as well, which is quite unusual. Usually you get, they're always in one part. Maybe something that Tacon will change later on there on the line with other model tanks. It looks like a straightforward build, there doesn't seem anything too over engineered or complicated. Commander's machine gun. I've heard reports that this is too small, but I've not measured it up to any other ones. There are quite a lot of storage bins on the Chieftain. And the final one is showing it all going together. Adding the turret to the hull. And then we get some colour plates of the other releases that Tacom have done recently. And the back, another line drawing of the Chieftain from head on. Thank you for watching.